Special shout out to all my patrons. Yellow. Hey, hey so uh, I don't want to like beat a dead horse. I, I just I just hopped in here and it sounded like you guys are chatting about number two. Um, did that person agree with you, or is that a, is that a good debate topic for you? Uh, yeah, they agreed with me, but yeah, we can talk about it if you want to talk about cool. it. Yeah, no, I I think uh, first let me let me grasp your opinion on why you feel that the police and prison um should be abolished oh first of all don thank you for the five guys can't wait uh yeah so i believe that police in prison um they do not serve a utility to the average citizen they are simply tools for the state specifically tools for the state to generate a profit off of slave labor very interesting so there are fortunately there are people out there that want to just murder and rape and um rob and things like that how do you think uh those you know those types of crimes and those, those things should be handled then if, if you don't have police or prison what do you what do you do um yeah so when it comes to like you know uh people who can who unalive or people who commit essay we're not saying that we wouldn't have a way to still enforce laws yeah, it just yeah. wouldn't be done with the system of policing as we know it the current system of policing is just like i said it's just inherently broken so we would we would be handling the laws in other ways there would be different agencies to handle these things depending on what um what those depending on what we're specifically looking at things like that so it sounds like you're just going to replace the police with some entity that performs a task that is somewhat like the police you're just kind of like name changing in that sense no so the thing about police is they police so whatever entity i i replace them with would not police neighborhoods they would not so, engage with the general uh, state public troopers. we would remove, we so, would remove so, troopers, so state troopers gotcha so state troopers aren't police i wouldn't so have, I, yeah i wouldn't have police do traffic stops either so that would effectively render state troopers useless <laughs> troopers troopers are gonna have a, <laughs> That's a that's a bad argument. I mean, so, if you're just gonna say, oh, that all that is all that state troopers do is do traffic stops. That's not that all. State, uh, no, I'm saying it's not the bulk. All, I mean, it's, it's definitely the bulk of their duties is traffic traffic stuff. Yeah, one hundred percent. Again, so the crimes I referenced there. What type of? I mean, it, basically, what you're saying is, oh, because they're called police. Uh, nope. I specifically. We're just have to change it to another I specifically name said I want else. you to very very clearly hear my arguments. I specifically said they would not be policing neighborhoods or engaging with the general public in any way, shape or form. Now, we can have a specific agency whose job it is to be reactionary to specific violent crime. Also, Jesus Christ, somebody's running laundry and this shit is loud as fuck to specific violent crime. Right. So we can have somebody whose job it is, is when they get a call to react to violence. But in an average given year, police only spend about four percent of their yearly duties on violent crime. So these people would be very few and far between for when they actually have to go out for things like neighborly disputes. I wouldn't send out police for things like mental health calls. I would replace them with with, um, for example, social workers for things like um, uh, just compounding all traffic by uh, stuff I would do with cameras. There's just a litany of things that we don't need police to handle. And I don't think that my my response to how we want to handle certain violent acts would be to send out what are essentially slave catchers. So it sounds like basically you want to just remove the active patrolling of police and basically have them on an on-call type basis. Um, I, it still sounds to me that the general duties of the police are still something that you actually believe in um, by and large. It seems like you just want to divert some of the, you know, some of the present calls that they're responsible for to additional entities or different, you know, non-law uh, enforcing entities. Yeah, how would it be police if they're no longer policing? Sorry, I, I don't understand your question. 
how would they be police if they're no longer policing? You can still define it as as a naming entity, right? Why do we why do we call the police the police? I would argue it's because they police neighborhoods. Policing can can be defined as just the enforcement of the law. Doesn't necessarily mean patrolling, right? Police patrol. It's almost like you're defining policing as the verb of like like policing is enforcing of the law. Whether or not they're patrolling, that seems like a. Di- I mean, perhaps that's a clarif- clarifier for you. Yeah. So again, I don't think we need people pol- necessary quote unquote policing the law. But if I were to have somebody who was policing the law, I would probably use people more akin to lawyers or people who have like a four year degree on not only the law, but constitutional law. Because one of the issues we have with police is when they arrest people, they can oftentimes break their constitutional rights, thus costing the taxpayer hundreds upon thousands of dollars. I mean, that's kind of like a mute point, because basically, if you don't have police, well, then people can go out, murder, rob, kill. And so, like, if you don't have anybody actually enforcing laws, uh, you know. No, because I don't want to focus on I don't want to focus on reactions to crime. I don't want to focus on reactions to crime. I want to focus on the preventative steps to effectively end crime. So I'm not worried about retributive justice. I'm worried about transformative justice. So what do you think should happen to people who go out and murder? Like, so say somebody depends on your family. What do you think? So depends they murdered the, your family. Depends on the circumstances behind the murder. So I just gave you context. So somebody murdered your family for just out of the blue, no reason. They just wanted to kill somebody, and that was it. Decided to pick your family. Yeah, it depends on like if we do a psychological evaluation. If we find that they um, cannot engage in the general public, I would put, take them out of the general public, uh, for yeah, prevention. But it, it, uh, but I would, thing, but, I would provide again, them. If can you don't I finish? Have somebody policing. Can I finish? Yeah. Okay. But okay. Go ahead and finish. Right. So I would put them in most likely a long-term care facility where they can receive mental health care, counseling, things like that, things that they very clearly need while keeping them in a position where they wouldn't be able to genuinely harm the general public um but yeah these are just like the rare cases but sure what 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 else sure sure i would say to that well how are you even going to get them restrained right because basically you're saying oh i want to send them to this send them to that but they just came in and killed your family and they just I laughed in this i already said that we can have an agency that's job it is is to go to after t- no i said we can have an agency whose job it is to be reactionary to like active violent threats, but that's all they would do is they would react to active violent threats and go about their day if there are it, no active violent threats. It really threats. sounds like you're just playing a name game because you could I call them I'm lice, not. right? We got the lice and you're creating the lice force. And uh, basically what happens is when somebody comes to your house and they murder or somebody go, commits a robbery, uh, you're going to call it the lice and they're going to show up and they're going to restrain that person so they no longer kill anybody else. And so they, so they at least for the present, time being they don't kill anybody and they don't and they stop robbing um like say they so there's somebody who has a hostage right like who you're gonna call it the lice and you're gonna uh you know you're gonna have them you're gonna so have these, them, uh, these are not the same and, and it's and, and the fact that you believe they are is very disingenuous of you um because i know you know they're not the same but you're trying to like make it seem like it is for the point i'm of your trying argument. to understand so, so you're saying abolish the police i'm viewing that Correct. strictly as a name there's uh, there's other right no, like i think the system troopers, i think our there's current other... system of policing needs to be abolished and we can rebuild another system but i don't believe it needs to be a system <laughs> focused on policing uh currently all police are is they're, they're slave catchers they exist to throw people in jail to benefit a, from a profit and generate a profit for the state they're not there to protect anybody they're not there to solve crime they don't solve crime prevent crime or protect you from crime they have no legal obligation to protect you from crime so what is their purpose i strongly disagree with everything you just said because there is no slavery or racist racism laws presently based on our based on our 13th hold on name a law our 13th amendment in the constitution yeah, that says after you've committed a crime. Correct. So they're, they're not, it says, it says that, and it doesn't actually say slavery in it. So you, yes, it, it does. Says slavery. Yes, it does. No, the it word does. slavery is literally in our 13th Con- Amendment. Do you need me to read it to you? It says neither slavery nor involuntary servitude. There you go, slavery. You said slavery is not in it. Yes, it is. Yeah, but it's not, it's not. <laughs> 
people if you are cops aren't, if that's, you are arrested there's no yeah if you are arrested you go to prison when you are in prison 75 percent of all labor in prison is forced labor labor that you are forced to do that's slavery I, I'm not knowledgeable enough on the on the matter to refute that or, or agree with you on on that specific component of how, what percentage or even if you're required to do perform work. At, you are. It's seventy five percent. I'll pull. I'll pull up the exact so, uh, that's, stat that's for you fine. so you have it. That's all right. We're not. We're not. I'm not. I didn't come here. Come here to debate that with you because that's not. Well, that's a part of the. Know. That's a part of this debate. When we but talk the, about, we want to the, remove the, the carceral I'm more system. In here is the abolishing of the police. The basically saying like who is going to enforce the laws. It's basically from what I'm hearing from you is you're you're just not okay with the policing name and you disagree with the present court systems and how and how they how the present law system I feel like tries I feel to correct like you, people, the correction I like you system. I feel like you haven't heard me. Police are the first step in a long, in a giant system engaged in keeping legal slavery. They are tools of violence for the state. They do not solve crime. They do not prevent crime. And they are under no legal obligation to protect you. So what is I their disagree. purpose? On what? I, they I they saw so right, 14% so right of... Now, hold on, they saw 14... The bank, wait, let me... Yes, they saw 14% of property crime, 40% of violent crime. When we look at maps of crime, areas with high densities of police don't have less crime. And actually, we see that crime spreads out to further areas when there's a higher population of police. And based on Castle Rock v. Gonzalez, the Supreme Court has already ruled that the police are under no legal obligation to protect you. So you just referenced a ton, a, a plethora of statistics there. Yep. I, I still confidently... I'm of the position that not having law, not having enforcers of the law is a bad thing, right? Great. If, if All I, you keep saying are it's if, bad, if, but you're not substantiating that with anything. Absolutely. I ha already. Are you kidding me? If people can walk around m murder, rape, they do that steal, now. The they do that now. Only 40% <laughs> of violent crime gets solved. It's even lower when we look that, at it as separate as murder. Stopped. Hold on. You no, go and do no. that. You're going to get stopped. No. You're going to get, you're going to get a. You're this is get, not true. You're, you're going to call somebody. This is yes, not true. Absolutely no, if is. you look at the solve rate of murder, for instance, it's low. The solve rate for murder is low. Most people that commit murder get away with it. We don't even if you look at the people in prison, the bulk of the prison population are not people in there for murder or sex crimes. It's people in there for crimes of poverty or property crime or drug crime. So we're not actually there to stop the worst of the worst. Police aren't doing that. We can but even look at the, we can even look at sexual crimes. You're, you're we can even look at saying, sexual oh. crimes. Police aren't doing anything with that either because hundreds of rape kits go unused in most prisons and rape is the most the most under tried crime. So no, there's the lots of correlations doing and statistics that. that that enforcement of the law ha provisions that actually promote the enforcement of the law are actually actually end up in the reduction of crime. What statistics? Look, look where? at certain states. Look at the state of Florida. What about it? Look at crime. How where is crime gone in in the past couple of years here versus <laughs> what? New York, who is. New York's crime rate has been their... New York's crime rate has been steadily dropping since the 90s. I live in New York. Not true. Yes, it is. I live in I, this is my state. It's gone up. No, it hasn't. This is literally my state. Oh, did the uh, stop and frisk after they removed stop and frisk? What happened? People stopped being stopped and frisked. Stop and frisk had crime no bearing. No, it didn't. I literally live here. How are you going to tell me about my own state? Crime went up. What are you talking about? No, it didn't. In fact, nationwide, crime is on the decline, not because of police. Stop and frisk absolutely had a reduction in crime. Absolutely. And you live in New York. You should know that. Stop and frisk didn't have anyways, a reduction in crime. It, crime in New York has been slowly dropped. Again, it's the same thing in New York. Crime in New York has been slowly dropping since the 2000s. We saw a spike during COVID, which every single state saw a spike in crime during COVID. But even New York's crime rates, again, also it, it been dropping. It sounds like to you, it, it, it sounds like to, from what you're saying that that basically you still believe in the enforcement of law to some degree. 
whether it's conducted by the police or some yeah, other entity. I don't entity, believe that we should like you, we you should believe in the enforcement of law. Correct. I don't believe we should do that away with law. laws. I've said from the beginning, I think the system of policing that we have currently is not there to enforce laws. Otherwise, the people going to jail would be people breaking the law. But we don't even see that when we look at our prison population. Zero, uh, two to ten percent of people in prisons are in there innocently. These are people who didn't actually commit their crimes. That's forty thousand to two hundred thousand, depending on where our economy is at at any given time. Four hundred thousand people in prison. No, I'm not, are I'm not in, here to hold discuss. On, don't, 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 don't let me don't, let me finish. I, I'm not even let on your board finish. here. Yeah, it's a part Here. of this. It's literally a part of the abolition of police and prison. So again, four hundred thousand people in prison haven't even been tried yet. So these are all people that, under letter of law, are innocent because they have Doesn't not matter. been proven I don't, guilty. I don't care about those so stats. again, I don't, I don't care police are no, referencing. Yeah, because you don't you give. And I you don't have care about this conversation at all. The law is an you important thing. They don't do enforce we, the law. Do not That's not what that. police do. Police don't enforce the law. If they only enforce the law, innocent people wouldn't be in jail. Police don't enforce the law. They don't. Are you who, who enforces the law then? Not the police don't enforce the law. My G. Crime, when somebody commits a crime, if police who, were, who is the law if in, police who are existed, they, who are law enforcement. If, call law enforcement. Who do you call when you want? I don't give a you know, shit when what they're called. In your house. We're talking you about what they actually do. We don't talk about what they're called. We they talk about what they the do. Law. No, they don't. They enforce the law. No, they don't. You're just a bootlicker. You're just bootlicking. <laughs> You're just bootlicking. They you, like, you can bootlicking you can say no, they don't. You can say they enforce the law over and over and over again. But again, they're not solving crime. They're not preventing crime. They're throwing mass amounts of innocent people into jails. That's not enforcing the law. They're it's literally not enforcing the laws. You can say it as many laws, times as you what? want. It doesn't make it true. You. So do you agree that having laws and, and an entity to enforce those laws is vitally important to society? Yeah. Nobody has said that we shouldn't have laws or we okay. shouldn't have so someone to enforce that laws. At least. We, we can no agree one said on that. that. Yeah, cool. I've never denied that. What I'm saying is the police are presently a law enforcement agency. And so you're basically saying, I want to change the way the police enforce the laws. I'm is saying, what saying I don't care what so they're called. I care about what their purpose actually is. And based on the inception of police, based on the fact that our modern day version of police didn't show up until after slavery was abolished and the 13th amendment was put into place given the fact that police and prisons are integral in working together to create a profit for the state this current system is broken and needs to be burned to the ground and so rebuilt from like scratch police reform. no i don't want reform Again, we agree we just agreed reform. we just agreed that having laws and an enforcing body of those laws, right? Law enforcement that doesn't is an mean, essential That doesn't mean we have society. police. And so, and so it's like whether you can't we call them understand police, that police are a specific thing and they could be set, hey, they can be completely can, separate. Hey, guess what? I will also agree with you that I don't think that every single law that's out there makes sense and the way we actually pursue corrections of those things makes sense. Can you, is that cool? Like, can sure. we agree on that? Like, it sounds like we agree I don't, I don't on think, that, I don't too. think any way we run the carceral system is working or correct. I wouldn't say anything. I mean, I, I certainly feel that having laws in place for, for, you know, violent crimes like murder, you know, robberies, rape, I think that's important stuff to have. I think sure, but it doesn't matter. Society. It doesn't matter if we have those in place if the police aren't enforcing those or accurately accurately supporting those laws. Again, they, they do enforce they them, don't. whether or not they do a good job. Whether or not they do a good job at that what? is a whole different if, argument if, and discussion. Wait, wait. If we're my not, job, we're not here to quick question that. for you. Quick question for you. We, if do we my agree job, that having laws that get that murder should be illegal, rape should be illegal, wait, and, and theft on. should be illegal? I, I'm not going to answer the same question for the fourth time. But if my job is to mow people's okay, then lawns, then don't tell if my me about job is to mow, even quick question, if my job well, is to mow people's here. lawns, if my job is to mow people's lawns, and every time I do, I leave half of their lawns unmowed, would you say I'm doing my job? I wouldn't. I would say you're not doing your job. If your job is to enforce law, do that. But don't, don't. I would say you're doing a terrible job. <laughs> or I'm not doing it. You can play the semantics game. You're doing game, a terrible but... job. If, if like that's what you're, if you're saying, oh, I'm, oh, I did it complete. It's all done. 
and like I'd say you're doing a terrible job. This is what I'm saying. Based on all of these statistics in our country, based on all of them, nationwide, police are ineffective, wholly ineffective in what their claim is, which is serve and protect. But they're very effective in what they're actually meant to do, which is throw people en masse, specifically poor people and people of color, into prison to become slave labor to generate a profit for the state. That's what their actual job is. And they're great at that. They do that very well, but that's not what we need in this country. So I believe the entire system should be burned to the ground and rebuilt because right now this system is broken and I want to abolish it. I don't want to reform it. I don't want to try to make it better. The carcer the justice system needs to be abolished. Now we can reform other systems in the country to make it easier for a new justice system. <laughs> but until we do that, no, the system is broken and I want it burn to the ground also gt is here yeah, what up so, so, so yeah it's, it's interesting because we actually hey what's up man it's, it's interesting because we actually do agree upon that that it's important to have laws and it's important to have an enforcing entity agency of those laws whether whether they're whatever they're called it's important to have those and we also agree that the present system is not perfect which is cool James, do you wanna do? You, would you like to have stop and frisk back? Um, I don't really have any perspective on that. I, I, uh, New well, York you invoked it a minute state. ago, I, I so like. I'm just curious as to why you would do that if you didn't like it. Well, no, I, I don't like this. I mean, I, I think that that's an overly, um, Oof. I think it's a law that that actually could potentially infringe on particular rights of people. It, it may. It did. Um, but why did you say that what happened though. after they got rid of it? Why did you use that as part of your argument as to like how how well law enforcement works? Because it was a, an example of additional law enforcement. It's an example powers, of what Jovan is right? saying. And it and it sh and it shows a correlation between increasing law people. increasing law enforcement powers, increasing law enforcement caused a reduction in crime. And so that was it, it proved my point on that ex particular but example. It Wait, no, it didn't. Or not, I agree. This did, but it doesn't. It did, though. No, stop it. it ending stop and frisk did stop not happen. No, it didn't. Stop and frisk reduced, reduced no, the amount of crime. No, it didn't. And when they repealed it, no. crime went back up. No, it didn't. No, dude. It didn't. You're from New York. You should know this. Yes, it I am did. from New York. Look That's why I know you're wrong. Look it up. Hold on. Let me bring up Al. Al, has, up, Al literally, look it up. Al literally has the statistic. It, James, this is going to be a bummer for you. This is going to be a bummer for you. I just want you to know this. That's it's not, not going to be a bummer for me. Yeah. It's not true. It's, I already Al, looked it up. Al, can you give us the accurate stat? Because I know you have yes, it pulled I up. I absolutely can. Um, so let me go ahead and give you the source. This is from New York itself. Um, this is from the New York Civil Liberties Union. This is March 2019. Um, the stop and fit. Uh, excuse me, stop and frisk program at its height, which was 2011, right? From uh, the total recorded stops in 2011, this was at the height of the program, 685,724 stops by police. Of those stops, 54% of them uh, were black individuals. 33% uh, of them were Latinx uh, um, individuals. 9% were white individuals. 88% of those stops, so 605,328 of those individuals Can stopped get, in get 2011 back? were found to be completely innocent. So 88% of the stops That's not at the asked. height of the program were found to <laughs> That's be completely That is nothing to do with James, what we're James, inquiring James, James, James. Why are you talking while I'm talking, James? Because you've said a ton here and not a single thing you stated has been an increase or reduction Let her in cook, bro. Home. Continue, Al. Go ahead. So can you please point to me where the stop and frisk program Thank you, boo. pointed to an increase or a decrease in crime when 88% of the stops and frisk from the program led to the defendant being completely innocent? Also, okay, so, I'm just going to so point out that if so, stop and frisk was effective, mm -hmm. the crime rates wouldn't have dropped after they got rid of it. But even after getting rid of stop and frisk, the crime rates dropped. Just to, to throw that out there. Right. Oof. So the University of Pennsylvania actually conducted a study on this, and they, they estimate that the crime reduction was on, on a magnitude of only 2%. Although small, it is still a statistically relevant data point here for this context of this so would conversation you trade, would you trade two percent crime reduction for the the uh, infringement of 
people of color civil liberties. Wait, is that that's the trade you're willing to make? Oh, what? Sorry, can I get the title of that study, please? Um, so Sorry, uh, can you just answer that question? Crime, can you answer that question? University of Pennsylvania, EDU. James, is that? I just want to. I just want to clarify your position on this. Uh, two percent crime reduction, theoretically, if this is true, uh, is is worth it if we trade uh, the the infringement of civil liberties for a ma majority people of color uh, at the at the hands of this. Is that worth it to you? Uh, again, I I don't think that. Uh... Any anything that is racist uh, of any sort is a good thing. So why are you using this as an example of like the positivity of police policing? How is this a good argument for you? Because it the correlation between instituting stop and frisk and the impact on crime reduction is a positive correlation. You don't and think the correlation between this and the argument. and the institutionalized We're not racism a in the. About if you want to talk about systemic racism, we can hop to number three. Do you want to hop to number three? I, I have. Oh, you don't believe that? That's real? real? Here's the here's the, no, here's the problem with this. Here's the problem with this, James. Here's the problem with this, James. Is that you're using you're you're citing this thing as as evidence for your claim, but in actuality, you're proving Javon's claim, which is that uh, police are systematically a racist organization. To no, uh, to not, wit, not hold on, James. Not. I'm not finished talking. Uh, to wit, uh, the 13th racist, Amendment. The, it is, this is, I have, I have news for you. This is part of the conversation about number two is race. That's, it's a bummer for you. I get it. But like, uh, this is part of it. Do you it. believe and that we should have laws? So and, I'm asking you a question at the laws. end of this. I would like to, I would like to end this question. Uh, do you think that the in, institutionalized racism of this particular, uh, like practice by the police, which you cite as a good thing in, in, uh, in crime reduction is uh, a good idea. Tough spot. Jeopardy I'm going music. to say that I believe stronger policing enforcement powers has a reduction in crime. That's false. Accor it's well, also according false. According to this particular study, can you provide me a different study, a uh, different sure policy can. example here that we can uh, perhaps divulge into? I can as sure. well. Al, you could yes. also. Go does ahead anybody and cook in out. here disagree? You wouldn't divulge should... into something. Does anybody here? You are divulging think that something. That we should not. <laughs> you wouldn't divulge so do, into anybody... something. You're you're being ignorant. I mean, you're you're worried. No, I'm making fun of you. I'm making fun of you. Yeah, okay. Make... Look, 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 look. I can make fun of you too. Ha ha ha. That so, wasn't very good. You do you try believe so it was hilarious? So it's an easy target. That look we should have laws and that we should have an enforcing agency of those laws. Yeah, I agree with Jovan. Abolitionist, what's your position on that? I, I just oh. police and prisons. Abolish the carceral state. Period. Yeah. That's not what I asked. Do you believe that we should have laws? Sure. What I think is funny is that agencies. he explained his position, which is to say that yes, there are there are positions that in this in this scenario, uh, pie in the sky, everything's great. We got our wish scenario. That there would be. I didn't say anything uh, about pie. Nothing in the sky. I'm asking a basic question. It it's, says, not actual pie, it's not actual pie, James. It's not actual pie. It's not actual pie, James. We're not. This is just. Do you I'm think just. We have laws I'm trying to. I'm trying to reiterate what Jovan's position is. Is which is I'm yes. Abolitionist. And so does he. I'm not talking to you. Good. I'm done with you. You already answered the question. I'm oh, James, I'm not done with you, dog. I'm not. I'm just getting started that here. We have laws, and that there should be law enforcement agencies. You didn't answer. My, you didn't have, let me finish that. my my question. I wasn't done answering I your. You're asking your... about pie. There's nothing on this list that says anything about Holy pie. Holy shit! Abolitionist, <laughs> what's, what's your answer? Do you think we should have laws or, or law enforcement agencies? What do you, do you Jovan, I wish I had thirty dollars, dude. How are you? De how are you uh, defining law enforcement agency? So we have laws. Do you think that laws should be a thing? Yes. Okay. So if you have laws, you need somebody to enforce those laws. Otherwise, can you define it's it just something using written the on an index words? card? Can you use it without? Sorry, can you define law enforcement agency without using the same words, law enforcement? Because that's the problem here, right? Like you're just trying to use the same words to say law enforcement. You're just trying to say police. We're trying to have a critical discussion, so, like, a, like critically a think about be, what we're okay. doing here. Let me, I feel like I shouldn't have to really break it down to this and you, and you absolutely understand what I'm saying, but let me try and simplify it here for you or give you another 
uh, look at what law means. So a law would be a rule. I have studied this extensively. You don't have to explain to me so, what law means. But you just asked me to tell you what law enforcement means without no, using the term law or enforcement. So, that, you, so law would what, mean, I'll on, define that as down, rule James. or regulation. Stop. And enforce- Stop for a second. I'm trying to <laughs> find out what you are defining law enforcement agency as. Because you're asking me if I think we should have a law enforcement agency. Right? My definition of law enforcement agency, no. But you seem to be making a different definition for that because you're not so, accepting what me. So you think we should have laws. Oh, and so, so, so you've already said we have laws. So that's part of the question. And then enforcement is an entity which is going to make sure that people follow the laws. No one is denying this, dude. What also, is happening? Also, since Nobody when, said that. Since when is enforcement I mean, meant an so, entity? What is happening? Uh, Jovan, explain this to you, and then I just said uh, yes, sure, and then. So it sounds uh, like it sounds like I we're think... all in agreement here that we should have laws and that we should have law enforcement agencies, whether sure, or not but... they meet the present law enforcement agencies or not. And that's something we also, I believe, we all also agree on, is that the current system is not perfect and well, has I room think... for improvement. Well, I think the problem is that you have a misunderstanding about how those laws are enforced and what keeps people from following the law. So, like, the leading cause of crime is poverty. And I think you understand it as if police keep people from committing crimes. So that's where that's where the disconnect is no, happening. I'm a, I agree. If somebody does not have any money or anything to lose they're more likely to go commit a crime. You have nothing in life. You have nothing going for you. Absolutely. You know, what do you got to lose? Right. It's kind of like that, that type of mentality. What I do think is that police are essential because when somebody goes and tries to come there, there's people who are not doing just, you know, who are not just poor. Right. And, and again, <laughs> right. just because, because you're poor, it doesn't, it doesn't poor. excuse you from going and committing a robbery theft it, you know any crime nobody's just saying that nobody yeah. says that okay. what she's saying is what she's saying is address the reason why people commit crimes and there will be less crimes D- if you're adding more police there's still going to be the same amount of crimes because the the root cause remains that's where we can where we can cut the giant inflated budget of a lot of these policing we're building a fucking city in in Atlanta right now maybe if we didn't do that and we we invested in uh, communities with that money, um, we could address the root cause of of crime, which is poverty. And rather than hearing all of the reasons, th- you are you are bloody mindedly saying we need police to to enforce the laws. You've already agreed. But you're no, but we're telling you not, there's no you, fucking you, we, we, reason for police if there's no agree, crime. We've agreed. There's no reason for police laws, if we address crime. There's no reason for laws if if people are all just good people. Right. But your definition of good people and what's acceptable is does not. James, we the said we said there's so, just like a I'm fire department for agree. crime. We're just going to send we we're going to send we're going to send James out with his fucking 22 when somebody's getting robbed and you can you can just deal with it. But like until then, we can we can use a lot of the funding. Ten billion dollars in New York for police last year. Uh, we can use some of that funding on the communities, which they are terrorizing. That's that's kind of the the main fucking thesis here. Would you agree with that? No, I I, I don't right. wholeheartedly agree with that. I believe that if you actually remove law and lo- law enforcement, what you actually have is an uprising of rebels, right? Do Basically, where people take things in their own me? hands. Um, will actually the, the amount of Christ. of crimes, violent crimes, and, and things of the like will increase. And, yeah. and uh, you just say this because this is true. how you feel. Do you know what binary thinking is? No, I do not know what binary thinking is. I know what binary right. is zero or one. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> binary thinking would be like it has to be one thing or the other, right? Zero, one, yep. One one zero 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 one, right? It feels like that's what you're doing here. That would right? be binary code, right? I'm just trying to give you an example because you said that you knew what binary code was. So I, was, I mean, I, I don't know why to... you're still coming at me about this because we've already agreed that laws are important and having an enforcement of those laws 
an, an enforcement agency is a good thing. And you know we even thanks? agree that, you that the could just say enforcing, that, that's enforcing a great system on those laws is You could just say, no, I don't there's understand. No more, you know there's what? nothing for us to debate any further on this. We agree on all of those things. You want to abol- you want to abolish police. I'm I'm okay with changing the name to something else and changing the present uh, James. law enforcement system James. as well as some of the laws in the I'm country. Just, so. I'm just I'm going to let you know this this has just been this is just circling. So uh, shout out to Chris <laughs> for said whenever we're done with him and I'm quite literally done. There's plenty of people in the box that might hold a better conversation.